Hey guys, hope your week is starting out well. Um, I thought I would do a video today, um, so I have one for this week. But um, I decided I was gonna do a what's in my makeup bag video. And um, as I was thinking about doing this, I realized I have a lot of stuff in my makeup bag that goes with me every day in my purse and I probably should change it and only take you know, stuff I absolutely need. So I ended up doing a second bag. So I've got one here that stays with me and then I have one that goes with me that I'm gonna show you. Um, I probably won't get to the second one if you're interested in seeing what's in it. Um, leave me a comment, I'll, maybe I'll do a video next week on it or something, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I do take with me. So uh, my makeup bag is this one here, so pretty cool leopard prints. Um, it's actually the makeup bag that came with the uh, purse that Candy Johnson had um, designed. I think it was last year maybe. Um, and I think there were only like, you know, a certain amount that were being made. But anyway, um, it's held up really well. Unfortunately, the bag has not. And it's in my closet right now because I really like using it and a lot of people do give me compliments on it, but it started falling apart so fast that it's just, it's so sad. I mean, like I said, I really liked it. Being that Candy Johnson designed it, you know, was awesome in itself, but unfortunately it has not held up this well. Sad. So anyway, getting to the video, <laughs> sorry I digress. Um, the first thing I have in my makeup bag is going to be my um, face case from Urban Decay and this is the Anarchy face case. If you've seen any of my other videos, you will see that I did a little kind of first impression review on it, but um, that's what I used today for my makeup. Now, most of the time I like to carry my makeup that I've used um, like eyeshadow wise with me throughout the day just in case I need a couple of touch ups or like, you know, the lighting was different in my room than it was, you know, being out in the car and being in more of a, a full sunlight. I have it with me. So like if I use the Vice palette that day, I'll take the Vice palette with me or one of the naked palettes, I'll take that with me. So um, that's why I took the whole you know, face case with me. Obviously, I can't take the eyeshadows out of it. Um, the second thing that I usually take with me, and I really need to invest in one of the small Z palettes because I only have this big one here. And the only reason I have it is for one eyeshadow. <laughs> so, yeah, I one of these days I need to get one of the smaller ones because the only reason I carry it is for this color here. And this is the color Bitten from the Makeup Geek line. And the reason why I carry it with me is because lately, um, well, when I dye my hair red, I don't dye my eyebrows. So um, to kind of blend it in so they're not like, you know, two different colors, I will actually take that um, matte eyeshadow and mix it in with my brows. So then it kind of gives it that, you know, kind of reddish hue so they match a little bit better. So um, yeah, only one eyeshadow, I know. Um, in the actual bag, I have right now my bronzer that I've been using lately and this is the Tarte Bronzer in um, Hotel Eris. And the reason why I carry this one is kind of the same, kind of the same concept as the eyeshadow thing. Like if I need to touch up my bronzer, if it looks like uneven in the car, um, in you know actual sunlight, then I have it just in case. I started carrying with me again the Urban Decay D Slick Powder. Um, so this one just helps to like mat, you know, mattify your face, soak up any oil. Um, it's got kind of like that um, almost rice powdery feel to it, but um, I started carrying that because it was a little bit smaller than carrying my um, little jar of translucent powder. So I have that. Then I have my eyelash curler. I don't know if I necessarily need to carry my eyelash curler with me, but I have it. Uh, and I've, I've said just in case like five million times, but literally I think 
half the stuff that I have with me is because of that. Like you never know what's going to happen. You never know when you'll need it. So I'd rather have it and not use it than, you know, not have it when I need it. But, um, this is an eyelash curler from Tweezer Man. And, um, I really love this style of eyelash curler. Now I did have the eyelash curler that Urban Decay had made and that was probably like three years ago, I think. And they discontinued it, which was really sad because the whole piece right here, like right in this part, like just completely snapped off. And it was so depressing because it was like the best eyelash curler. The reason why I really like this style is if you can see, it has no pieces on the edges here. So there's not like that cage, I guess, that you're stuck with. Like with my eyes, um, and I don't know if it's because they're Asian or they're, you know, strangely shaped or whatever, but <laughs> when I go to put an eyelash curler to my eyes that has that cage, I end up pinching like either the inside or the outside of my um, eye and it really, really hurts. So with these, I don't have that problem. Um, so I hope they don't discontinue theirs too because I think they might be the only ones um, that make this style of eyelash curler right now that I know of. So um, Advil in case I get a headache. A brush a little mirror thing that I've had forever and I hardly ever use because as bad as it sounds, I don't usually brush my hair or brush it throughout the day, especially when it's curly. So I just have it to have it. <laughs> I guess I have it to take up space. Um, I do carry my brushes with me. Like I said, if I need to do any touch-ups or, you know, I get in the car and find that there's like crazy blending issues going on, I will have them in case. Um, I have my contour brush from Real Techniques and, you know, of course that one I can use for my bronzer or my mattifying powder. Then I just have with me my double-sided um, Urban Decay brush and this was from... I can barely see it because it's rubbed off, but I think it was from the Naked 2 palette. And then I have my um, pointed concealer brush. I really need to clean my brushes. Um, from Real Techniques also for, you know, any concealer issues or touch-ups. Then I have my Delium Tool 785 brush, so it's a really fluffy blending brush. And then probably one of my all-time favorite cheap brushes from Target. Um, this one literally was probably like $2 and I have two of them, but it's like the best brush ever. I love this brush. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it in a video or I might have done a video and decided not to upload it, but I talked about my brushes. Yeah, I think it was in a video I haven't uploaded. But anyway, I really like this brush because it's small and it really allows me to make like that crease. So like right here, you can see um, where a natural crease would be. I don't have a crease having Asian eyes. My eyelids are just flat. So this one for some reason just has like a really great shape to it that I can create that crease and it blends like awesomely. So yeah, not all good brushes are freaking expensive. Like I said, like maybe $2 at Target. <clears throat> I have a flashlight that does not work. Um, yeah, I think one Christmas my mom bought me like this whole pack of flashlights and they were like mini flashlights or one that was like a little bit taller and I think there was like six of them in there. So I think I ended up giving like three of them to my boyfriend. You know, I threw one in my purse. I probably have two, maybe three in my car. Um, and yeah, it stayed in my makeup bag. I have not really needed it ever, but it was there just in case. And obviously it does not work now. So I don't know what good it's going to do me. Um, I have hand cream in my, uh, my purse, my makeup bag. And this is the uh, cherry blossom. And I actually haven't used this one in a while. I have a new hand cream in my purse that I've been using, but again, I just keep it with me just in case. I have three different perfumes in my makeup bag, none of which I'm actually wearing today. Um, 
I usually like carrying, you know, maybe one or two perfumes in my makeup bag just in case I happen to be running out the door and things are crazy. I forget to per perfume on and then that way I have the option too later on. Um, but right now I just have the Rollerball from uh, Victoria's Secret and this is the Sexy Little Things Noir. And then I have Sinner from Kat Von D. I really like this one. And then I have this one from Fresh, and it's the grapefruit scent, and I don't even remember how I got this. I think I got it as a sample or something. I don't know. But anyway, today I ended up going with um, Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath & Body Works. So, like I said, I don't have any of these on, but they're there in case. Um, I have my Perversion Eyeliner from Urban Decay, and of course I've got one in the Anarchy Face Case, but um, this one has been the one that I've been using uh, pretty often lately, so I just keep it in the makeup bag. And then I have Eyelash Glue, never know when you'll need it. Um, I do wear fake eyelashes pretty much every day, <laughs> um, and so... Um, yeah, you'd never know when like corner is going to pop up or you have like half your eyelash like hanging there for its dear life. So I like to have that with me all the time. Um, concealer, this is actually the, uh, Smooth Indulgence Foundation from Dermablend, but I use this as my concealer and I'm almost running out, which is sad, but the good thing is, is because it's so pigmented, it has lasted me a long time. Um, and it's a medium coverage. And then for like any blending, I really liked this color from Urban Decay and this is their uh, Walk of Shame. This is just a matte color. Again, if I have any blending issues or whatnot, I like to have that one on hand. Then mascara, I don't really need it, but it's in there. Um, I had gotten this as a gift and this is the uh, Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory. It's their lip gloss and I've only used it once and the one time I used it I found it was really really sticky and like kind of hard to put on uh, but um, I think I've been keeping it in my bag to kind of like give it another chance um, and see if it is any better. And then I just have my NYX Color Balm in there. Again some more concealer. The um, oops. Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline in the brightening shade. And then my Rosebud Salve, just in case my lips get dry. And then if any of you have noticed throughout the couple of videos that I have uploaded, my eye color has changed between videos. So today they're kind of a, can't really see. Um, like an aquamarine green. So I wear colored contacts. Uh, naturally, I have dark brown eyes, but I've always been the type, like, you know, growing up and, you know, friends and stuff have colored eyes or like my boyfriend's got cool, like, kind of blue green with like, you know, hazel or something in them. Um, and I always wanted different colored eyes. So I finally went out and found a brand of colored contacts that I like and, um, I've considered going to contacts instead of glasses, but I have worn glasses for so long that I, like, to me, I look so weird without them, and it's just, like, they're literally part of my face now, so I was like, hey, I'll just wear contacts under glasses, but, um, so I carry my contact case just in case they start driving me crazy, and I do not want them in my eyeballs anymore, and then eye drops are always good to have with contacts. So we are nearing the end of this. The only thing that I have left is just like um, a couple of eyebrow products. Got eyebrow pencil, tweezers in case, you know, I've missed a stray hair somewhere. Um, blotting tissues that I hardly ever use, but they're there. Another mirror. I have a nail file. Um, that has not gotten much use because usually I have acrylics on, but I started getting tired of them and my nails need a huge break so I can actually use this nail file. 
And then um, I have this double-ended brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills for my eyebrows. My eyebrow powder, like I said, usually for me, my eyebrows are the one thing, like, I'll do them in my house. And I'll be like, oh yeah, they look good. And I'll go out to the car and I'll be like, oh my gosh, like one's way darker than the other. Which you can probably already tell, that one usually turns out a lot darker than that one. And I can never just get it right the first time. So I always have to carry my eyebrow powder with me. It sucks. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing is just the uh, Beauty Genius Clear Waterproofing Gel. I do have the powder that came with this gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, but I found that I can just use this gel with the powder and it works okay. Um, I haven't really had an instance lately that I've had to waterproof my brows. I did, I think, last weekend because... It was kind of rainy out, so I have it in case it starts raining or something. But I think that's it. That is all that I have with the makeup bag that I do carry with me every day in my purse. Um, I do have the one that I keep just like, you know, products that I do use every day but don't necessarily need to carry with me. If you want to see that, I could probably do a video for it. Um, it would be way too long if I added it to this one. so. Leave me a comment and I will show you that one too. But I hope that you guys have a great rest of the week. And if your week started out crappy, I hope it gets better. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. All right. As usual, leave me a comment. Give me some feedback. Give me some suggestions. I would be glad to hear any of them. Um, all right. I'm done. Bye.